Hi everyone, today is, um, hold on a second, Monday, October 22nd, and um, I'm actually going to make uh, this video just a minute long. And the name of this video is Message to the Ontario Mental Health System. I just want you to know that you guys fuck up a lot of people's lives. Um, I didn't even know there was anything such as um, something related to health care that even focuses on beating the shit out of people, splitting people's lives, fucking up families. It just amazes me to see how not one person who works in this industry, in this sector related to fucking psychology, you know, has even stepped forward and said, you know what, we need to fucking stop this bullshit. You know, I've shared some videos about the impacts to um, black women, but I haven't even gone into what you've done to the fucking aboriginal community, all the aboriginal women to begin with, separating them from their children, you know, um, translating their, you know, their um, culture abuse experience um, into a medical classification. That is so fucking wrong. So this is my message to you and all those people that work in this fucking sector called uh, mental health system. You know what, you fuck up a lot of people's lives. And um, let me give you some, um, some data. Black women. If you actually look at the percentage of black women who actually benefit from something called the fucking mental health system, where are the fucking benefits? They get their children taken away from them. You guys uh, translate them into um, these pharmaceutical things. The shame on them is just absolutely fucking disgusting. And you know what? Personally, I decided not to apply for med school in, um, I think, the Western construct because I was actually pretty disgusted with the way that they teach something called fucking medicine. Medicine should not be based on a fucking, you know, <laughs> I don't know, some kind of bling culture. What are actually the benefits of this thing called a mental health system? I've also been in uh, different meetings where they've had, I don't know, $100 million that have been, um, you know, distributed to this thing called mental health help. But how do people actually get into that system? Caucasians? You should see how they are. It benefits them. But when it comes to people of color, and I'm speaking about the Aboriginal women as well as the um, black female population to begin, why exactly does it work in that way? You know, I'm not even sure what to say, really, but I can just tell you that, you know what, your system is really fucked up. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to start looking into your system to say, okay, you know what, how do you just shut this fucking shit down, right? How is separating women from their children beneficial to the woman who's leaving abuse? How is, for example, mistranslating data related to social, economic, educational interests a pharmaceutical problem? You guys write all these scripts, and you know what? None of that shit is even audited. Now, I'm just talking about the version of this thing called mental health psychology that's based on a pharmaceutical industry trade you guys make no fucking sense and I'll just tell you one thing I'm gonna encourage all of you to go and you know what take a look at uh, this thing called psychology and look at the origins of this this applies to Caucasian people but it doesn't apply to people of color now why hasn't one person in your fucking mental health um, system actually said you know what this is just fucked up bullshit penis envy what the fuck is that? Second thing, how do you actually get people into the mental health system? You have these, uh, these policies that are so abusive, it's not even funny, of the worst in the world. And you know what? Ontario, uh, Canada, that province is a great place to shut that shit down. Because you know what? It hurts a lot of people. Who's actually benefiting from these economies? You know, look at all these fucking non-profits. Non-profits based on economizing, you know, people's misfortunes? You guys make no fucking sense. And let me tell you something. You know what, to you mental health system, you guys are going to get fucked. Because let me ask you something. Pretend this is your medical, uh, your stupid medical data that you write about people. You tell me how, for example, 
your fucking patients and your clients have actually audited your records. If you guys have not had anybody to audit your records, then you know what? Or, if you guys haven't even had the audacity to get clients, patients, the people that you're actually uh, servicing to audit your little medical stories, then what kind of practice are you practicing? You guys are fucking sick. And you know what? Let me tell you something. What you do to others will be done to yourself. We are not religion people, but you know what? You have fucked up so many Aboriginal women to begin with. It's so fucking sad. It's so fucking sad. And to see Aboriginal children with Caucasian women? Who the fuck is this? And then, okay, within the black women culture, criminalizing Aboriginal women and criminalizing black women. Now, I'm talking about Canadian Aboriginal women to begin with. What the fuck is this? And not one person has come forth and said, you know what, this is wrong. This is fucking wrong. You have reports about people. Tell me how you actually got them to audit your reports. How do you guys get paid for all this shit? You don't even have legitimate data. That's my message to you, fucking mental health system. You guys are fucking sick. And you know what? We are going to work to make sure that, you know what, our families are reconstructed not in the way that you plan for us. These fucking... I can't even... They're just disgusting. You lose relationships. You lose opportunities. You lose, what? A lot of things. How does that actually empower the person? And you guys write these off as, so, as suicides. That's the bullshit part of it, because you guys don't even do an environmental scan. If you actually take a look at the environment, you will say, holy shit, this is like fucking murder. You guys are so stupid. And you know what? We understand that the uh, this thing called police services, it's very, very problematic. We understand peace officer services, but the police don't even understand what peace officer services. What the fuck is that? You know what? Go ahead and comment away. Um, but you know what? Message to the mental health system. Lay off. Lay off. Because you know what? You're going to get fucking hurt. You've hurt so many people, it's not even funny. And you've hurt so many fucking families. You know what they need as some solutions? They need a medical commissioner. But they need a medical con um, commissioner that actually comes from a decolonized perspective. They have these people that say, oh, they're anti-oppression people. But you know what? Their anti-oppression stance is not even decolonized. You know what? Figure out what you need to fucking do. And you know what? Stop fucking around with people. Key question. This is the medical data record. How did you guys get the patient to audit this? Thanks for watching.